Shout out my Riley for Fight Talk. I'm here today, York Hall, with a victorious and one I know now as a professional boxer, Sam Cox. Yeah. Mate, talk hard, me through the fight, please. Mate, hard fight. Um, took a knockdown in the first round. Um, I thought it was around the back of the head. The ref fought different. He gave me a count. Realised, obviously, I'm two, I'm two rounds down now. Got to win every round. And went in there, worked my jab, worked my jab. Caught him with a couple of good right hands. I thought I knocked him down twice. I think the first one was a little bit of a push, a little bit of a tussle. Second one was definitely a shot. Got no count for it. But we still we still got the win in the end. He came, he came out at the start of the fight. He sort of ran at you with a big looping right hook. Mate, he ran at me with everything. Uh, honestly, I didn't see them shot, some of him shots coming, and I should have. He, he was unorthodox, and I think his record, it was quite flat, deceiving. It was very deceiving. He's, um, he's an awkward opponent. Some of these shots are like really novicey, so it's like you're expecting maybe like a jab or like a, a backhand, and there's shots coming from here, from there, and you just got to be really, really careful with him. But we knew what he was coming here for. Um, I think the nerves got the better of me. I think um, the occasion, but I think I've learned the biggest lesson today, and I think the next fight is only going to get easier. I think there was a danger when you when you got you know whether it was or not. That me personally, I, di I didn't think so. I thought it was the back of the head. I didn't. Yeah. But like you said, the rest give it. You yeah. got to fucking get your head down. Yeah. But it would have been easy for you to lose your head a bit, and you had, to, you had to box a little bit more intelligently. I think that showed my maturity, to be honest. I I, um, I got the knockdown, went back to my corner, and I knew I've got to win all three rounds now. There's not a round I can lose. So I got on the jab, got on the jab. I caught him with a few right hands, a couple of uh, flush shots. A guy like that, you're, ne you're never going to knock out. He's been knocked out once against Paul Butler, who's a former world champion. In 70 odd fights, yeah. or 68 he, fights, something like that. And he's been stopped once, which is by a super featherweight, which is three weights heavier than me. So that's referee stop contest, but he's only been knocked out once by Paul Butler. So very, 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 very strong opponent. Knows the ring, obviously very awkward as you as you can see, but. The main thing is we come out there with a clean record and we're on to the next one. What about, in, obviously, hands, knuckles, that kind of stuff, how are you feeling? Um, I've got a bit of an ache on one of my knuckles, but to be honest, as you can see, it come out with no cuts, no bruises. Still as good looking as ever, mate, uh, don't worry yeah, we about try, it. We try the hair gels in, <laughs> we're, uh, we're trying out here, man. Yeah. But yeah. When, uh, any idea when your next, I know it's very early, yeah, Sam, no, do you know I've, what I mean? But I've got a date in mind, I spoke to Steve beforehand, um, and we want end of uh, November, start of December. I want a month off. I'm not even going to think about boxing. I've five months this has been for this debut. So it's a long time. We're just going to forget boxing, wipe a clean slate, get back in the gym, and we know what we need to work on. Obviously, for the debut, I've been out in the ring for sort of competitive wise for about three to five years now. So getting in there, getting the rust off, that's all done now. So go and have a summer off, and then we're back in the gym come September. Yeah. Um, a meal team been helping you out. You got some oh, good mate. sponsors with you, mate. To be honest, I've made this way three meals a day loads of water I ate breakfast this morning before the weigh-in I've made it weight lovely if um, if we get on a bigger show and we can weigh in the day before super fly weight is, 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 is where I'm gonna be so um, so yeah I'll be lovely big and strong for it to be honest um, I felt like I was catching him with some hard shots some heavy shots were wobbling him but a guy like that is not not mm -hmm. going anywhere he's, too, he's been around too long you yeah. know what I mean you had to stick to when are you back to work I'm back to work um, actually Tuesday so yeah. I've got a weekend off and then uh, back to work back to normality Tuesday oh, which yeah. is uh, I'm not looking forward to it <laughs> any holidays booked yeah yeah so my girlfriend out there um, she deserves a holiday I think for putting up with me um, the this training camps so I've moaned at her screamed at her thrown things at her no abuse so can't, <laughs> don't take me for court for this but I've um, yeah no we've uh, I'm, she's had a hard time to be honest I've, I've been locked away in the gym um, other things you can't do for six six weeks before a fight so she's had it hard so we're going to go on holiday in September as soon as we're back we'll be doing a couple of runs over there as soon as we're back we're in the gym and we're starting again, yeah, over again. a lot of things happen behind closed doors that you know even we don't see so that's it's, a, it's, it's a difficult it, game isn't it it is a difficult game like um, as you see I had great support out there over 200 people there I can't thank them enough for coming they're the only reason why I I can I can do this sport because they're paying the money which is paying me so I can't thank them enough. That, that was the one thing I was going to say actually. I've, I've been here for some atmospheres. I was here Wadi Kamacho, Isaac Chamberlain. Some, but I'm telling you now, when you were fighting, when you was landing, the place nearly come yeah, off. It yeah, was like, unbelievable, yeah, mate. Honestly. I've, trust me. After the, after that um, bell went and uh, and I got my hand raised, the, the atmosphere it made me so emotional, mate. I grabbed my mum. I cried my eyes out. I tell you now, it's it's. it's 
it's a brilliant feeling and I don't think anything in the world can beat it and that's why I do this sport. Definitely, listen, pleasure seeing you in there. Hopefully, it won't scare us as much next all time. Right, all right, I've got to give you a bit of something, man. I've got to give you a bit of something. I had it too easy with the crowd and everything, so I had to go down and give him a chance, you know what I mean? I look forward to seeing you back in the ring. Cheers, Sam. Can't wait for some more Instagram selfies. Yes, whatever, today. In the bar, that's love and love. That's it, forget the absent, yeah. yeah. Thank you for talking to Fight Talk. Cheers, Sam.